Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com. Question for you. Do you have a product that you're trying to sell online? Do you want to learn how to build your own custom e-commerce sales funnel with the Power Lead system? Well, today's PLS Tips with Manny, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Step by step from beginning to the lead capture page to the end of getting them to buy your product. So I'm gonna show you how to build it out, even including how to build out custom graphics so your design looks nice and fresh versus uh, not having the abilities of shadows and things like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that step by step. So let's jump right in. Uh, I'm Manny Lopez here, and uh, like I bring you guys every week, PLS Tips with Manny every Thursday at uh, seven my time, 10 o'clock Eastern time, I'm in California. So uh, anyway, so let's jump right into uh, how to build this out. So uh, I don't know how long this will take, so hopefully it doesn't take too long uh, for me when I'm building these out, these take forever, but I'm just gonna give you a kind of a quick rundown of what you do and how to do it. So first things first is you want to first find the lead capture page that you're gonna use for your funnel. Because the first thing you need is your sales funnel lead capture page. So you need to get people to submit their information. So what I do is I built out uh, using one of the, you know, the landing pages that we have, uh, the sales pages that we have, that go right into a lead capture page. So what I've done is, uh, let's say you've got one, you know, set up and you're starting to build, you know, customize it out. So background, obviously, pick whatever background you want. Text. Uh, this is how you build out uh, the design. So I'm going to show you the one that I'm using right here. This is for. Um, my Facebook sales funnel that I'm using for you guys, you know, get my Facebook website.com. So this is what I've been using. I've sold dozens of these already uh, on an automated basis. So it's something that's already working for me. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this for yourself as well. So um, let's say you guys want to build out something like this. Now you notice how this text has got the shadowy background. It's got different coloring with it. Um, these are actually images guys. So what I've done is actually build out these as images and then brought them into these funnels. So every single thing that I have here, as you can see, you know, there's images, there's uh, you know different texts, there's uh, shadows, there's different coloring, is a gradient coloring versus just a flat color. So you've got just just better looking design. So all of these are actual images that I built in here. And uh, and as you can see, just using one of the basic different funnels as you guys probably already can recognize, and just customizing it to the way I want it to look and then just throwing in my own video. Of course, you gotta have a video in there. I do a walkthrough video. I use one of the PLS tips and it's been very effective. So it kind of just shows you guys for another, you know, 30 minutes how the Facebook sales funnel would work for your power lead system business, how it's set up, what it's gonna look like, what it does. So if you guys can just put together some type of video of your product that shows this is how it works, this is how you're gonna use it, this is how I use it, or whatever it is that you're selling, just kind of give a nice instructional video of yourself putting it together, or maybe a nice sales video that you've got already that shows how to use it. Uh, just something that's gonna give a detailed video outline of saying this is what it's gonna be, and this is how you're gonna benefit using my product. And then get them to submit their information. Okay, once they submit their information, they're gonna to go to the actual sales funnel. This is where you get unique, okay? I'm using this system called Jotform. It's J-O-T-F-O-R-M.com. The cool thing about this is that you can get up to 10 payments a month free with the system. So uh, you really don't even have to actually pay for anything until you're actually utilizing more uh, than it would basically cost you. So um, what you, what basically, I mean, if you, as long as you have, because uh, the way I'm paying for it is I'm getting up to a thousand submissions uh, every month for uh, 9.95 a month, so less than 10 bucks a month. So as long as you're clearing more than $10 with 10 sales, then uh, this would be something that would be beneficial to you because you're not really having to pay for anything unless you're getting more than 10 sales. Uh, so let me show you how uh, I'm building this out. Uh, with this job form thing here, 
when you go in here and you build out a form, you can actually customize using some of their templates. They have over 5,000 templates that you can use. Um, now also keep in mind, I'm not sharing this with you guys to make some type of an affiliate fee or anything like that. Um, you know, just go to jobform.com and, and sign up for yourself. I mean, I don't get any type of cut or anything. So I'm using this because it's a free source to be able to utilize. And this is the e-commerce function of this funnel. So this is where you can actually going to be able to put in payment. You can upsell from here. Um, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to use this. It's a really cool system. So everything in here that I'm adding in is an image. So this is an image. This is an image. Uh, this right here is a text. So you can just add in your own heading text. Um, this right here is an image. Right here is an image. Anything that's got look that looks real nice and crisp, um, that's got shadowing colors and images in it, uh, it's going to be an image I created and, and just threw it in here. And I'm going to show you quickly uh, or shortly how I actually build out these images. All right, so as you can see, everything in here is a different image. And this is where it's the fun part. This is where you're adding in the price and upsell capabilities. So if you have a product that has multiple different capabilities with it, if you want to throw in other stuff like, you know, a coaching session with it, uh, an upsell to maybe a, a higher ticket item that you have, get them in on something small and then upsell them later. You know, there's all kinds of different ways that you can bring it in. But here's how you, this is how I do it. I kind of package it out as every detailed item that I sell and then uh, and print it in for a certain package. Like with this Facebook, um, you know, the Power Lead System package, we sell it for 147. You know, my retail rate with my own business is a 697 for a custom package. So I bring it in a certain discounted rate uh, and then offering that there. So you, you can even list that in there. I should even, never even did that. So let me show you how I would edit. So if I wanted to go in here and uh, you just put in your PayPal email, uh, you can sell products. You can either using, they can only buy one product or they can buy multiple products and give them an option. I use this because then that way you can upsell them, uh, get them additional products that they can buy. You can also sell subscriptions. So if you have a, um, uh, a membership website, you can get, hey, subscribe to our membership site, click here to buy now and bam, it goes right into selling a subscription. Or if you have a nonprofit, like you're a church, um, or you have a, um, you know, uh, any type of nonprofit that you have, you know, that you offer, uh, you can collect donations right on uh, your website for your 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, so you have that option. Then you have the capability to add on any product that you want. So you can just say, I want to add a product. This product is named um, whatever product one price. Uh, I'm going to price this out at 50 bucks. And here's the cool thing about getting the discount. So you say product one, then I put it in parentheses retail pricing is $100 but I'm gonna offer it for 50 bucks so an image URL so if you have an image that you have that you hosted somewhere um, you just copy and paste the URL and it give a little make sure it's a box it has to be a square because uh, that's the sizing that it's gonna put it in so if it's a rectangle it'll actually squeeze that rectangle into a box so whatever image that you have for the URL of your product make it into a box I'm gonna show you how to do that as well well let me just kind of throw you into how you do that um, if you have PowerPoint this is how I create a lot of my images it's very very simple to use and it's very customizable because any type of font that you add into your your, uh, your um, system or guess it's gonna be integrated to your Microsoft PowerPoint so here's how I build out my images I literally just make out an image uh, design it and the size is huge you know you want to make a big size you know, 20 inches by seven and a half inches is what I usually use for you know, banner size stuff. But uh, as you can see from here, everything on here is images or text. Um, and then you can customize it by adding in formatting. So the text fill, you can change the colors. You can even add in gradient. You know, I can make it look like this, make it look like this, you know, all kinds of different gradient colors just to make it look different. Uh, you can change the texture of the image or the, the text that you have. Uh, so it has some nice little effects there. And then you can also add in text effects like shadows. As you can see here, I can no shadow with shadows. You can do reflections so they look cool. Uh, glowing so you have you know some type of outline. You can do that kind of stuff. Bevel to make it kind of a 3D effect. You can even do rotations so you have you know, all kinds of different cool stuff that you can do. And then even transform it to make it look Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Do something like that. That'd be dope. I'm over here designing on stuff. <laughs> you watch, you're going to see a design in one of these days that's going to have that, that 3D effect. This thing. Don't be surprised when you see this in a very short amount of time on something that you. <laughs> I just discovered that, and I'm going to use it somewhere. All right. 
So basically that's what I do. I go to PowerPoint, I create a lot of these images, um, keep the background simple uh, because obviously that background is going to be stuck on, you know, whatever you put, unless you have some other type of uh, software as well, uh, or you use a more upgraded PowerPoint. I know I've done it before. I can't remember how I did it, but um, I'll have to research it again, but I was able to put a transparent background for these images so I can save these images as a transparent background and put them on any background, which would be kind of cool. Um, but I just can't figure out how I did. I'm not going to sit down here and, and you know, sit here for 20, 30 minutes and figure it out on here. I'll do it another time and show you guys how to do that. All right, so yeah, to go back into here, you can also make a product required. Um, so if you, like for example, I put my package is 147, and then it includes all kinds of stuff within this package. So it's not an option. These are required because it's just included. So um, then I put an option like click to add. As you can see, I have a second Facebook website you can customize to any business. So if you have like, for example, I got uh, a lot of clients through the Power Lead system that have a secondary business. They offer their own primary. They have, you know, um, a direct sales. They have their own brand or whatever. They're starting their own coaching business. Uh, they have their health and wellness side business, whatever it may be. Um, you know, we have that option for a, a, an add-on. Instead of paying six ninety seven dollars just for an extra one forty seven, dollars they can have their own Facebook website. But here's the, here's the cool catch with that, is that they have to buy this package first in order to get that secondary option even available to them. So, which means they have to be an invested amount minimal to be able to get that secondary value at a discounted price. So if you think about that, that could be something that you can use as an upsell. So as long as they've spent a minimal of this, hey, I'll discount this, why not? Because we have you know a certain profit margin. So that's what you just have to think about. So um, just kind of putting in that frame, you can add in all kinds of different stuff. And I, since I've added on these add-ons, because when I launched my Facebook website campaign, there was no add-ons. It was just you buy the package and that's it. Then I saw people adding on, hey, if, you know, they're asking me questions. Hey, if I have a second business, how, how much would that be? Hey, I saw your website and they have the logo animation videos. How much would that be? Um, and then they're asking, hey, can I just get some of your time? How, how much would that be if I could just take a half hour of your time and an hour of your time and just sit down with you and map out strategy with this platform? So I thought, hey, why not add in these things automatically? So instead of me having to go through and tell each person, hey, I have this available as well, add it as an add-on and give the people the option right from the get-go once they are sold on your stuff and they're actually buying it, that's the per perfect time to get them to say, hey, I have more stuff that you may want to have an interest in. So uh, that's a cool thing that you can do there. And one other thing I was going to show you guys, or I was going to do when I get in here, is add in that value package. So Facebook website package um, retail is 697 and then bam, offer for 147 And as you can see, it's required and selected by default. So selected by default means as soon as they go into the sales page, that option is automatically checked off. So that price point is already being tagged along to the subtotal. So they get the option. I put in click to add in the front. So when I click on here, uh, the description, I'll put in click to add so they know it's an add-on feature. It's not something that's just included in there. So, um, oh, I need to save it. It's, it's retail. Retail is 67. And then save it. And the next. And here's another cool thing that you have is coupons and shipping. So let's say shipping, okay? If you have a shipping cost, weight value, if you have a physical product that you're mailing to people, bam, you have that stuff in there. So that way people put in their address and they know and you can act, calculate your shipping automatically in there. I don't use that myself because all my stuff is digital, but uh, that may be something that you have an interest in because you may have an actual product that you sell uh, instead of a digital product. Now, another cool thing is coupons. This is cool because it gives you the ability to have uh, the ability to add in discount coupons to people for, um, let's say, you know, whatever discount you want. If, uh, and that could be a tracking coupon. That's what I would use it for. Um, I use it for tracking because I use it as affiliates. Every person that brings on, uh, that comes on with the Facebook website for my company, I go and I give them an affiliate code and say, here, here's your new affiliate code. You can offer a discount on my retail pricing now. And, uh, and anybody that uses that coupon code, I pay out an affiliate commission for it. So it's a great way to get more exposure for your brand by leveraging other people's efforts. Because if they love the product that you have, they're the perfect type of people to go and promote your product because they're the ones going to say, hey, this product is great. This is how I'm using it. Oh, you want it here? Use this coupon code. Go to this website. And you'll be able to buy it from here. 
And so you just set them up their own domain or you have a domain domain that all the affiliates go to. Like I just tell everyone, hey, go to the same website that you bought it from yourself. And if you notice at the bottom of it, it'll have the coupon code. So it'll say, enter a coupon. And then you just type in the coupon code, apply it, and it'll tell you if that balance is, is workable. So I'll put in a coupon code and I'll show you guys how that works. So let's say I add in a coupon code, coupon code, Manny, percentage, let's say 15% off. And I can apply that to all the items, or I can say, you know what, that only applies to my package and not my add-ons. So you can say, nope, I don't want that, but just to the full package that they're re retail paying for. The add-ons, they're already discounted, so I'm not gonna discount them even more. Or you can say, hey, just discount the whole thing, the flat rate. Or you can say, hey, I want to discount it on the order total or individual products. So you can say, you know, based off of the total amount, um, I guess I would include shipping as well. I'm not sure. Um, I, I ran a, a sale with shipping myself, so I wouldn't know. So I guess it's something you can check out. Um, you can discount it on a fixed amount, so you can say, hey, I just want to take a $10 off, $5 off, whatever, or you can say, I want to take a percentage amount. So you can say, I like to do a 15% off, and you can do by coupon limit, say, hey, there's only 10 coupons available at this, so you can give a really good call to action, say, hey, guys, you have to use this coupon code, you know, by this date, because there's an expiration date one as well, so you can say, hey, guys, you have to use it by Friday, otherwise, you don't get this coupon, it, does, it expires. Um, and it's automated for you, so you don't have to go in there and delete the coupon, it just expires itself. And then I just save it. Once you save that, you gotta return and save and everything, and then you save it with that button there. Then you get a little preview link, so this is where you're gonna be able to uh, add this into your sales funnel, because you get a, coup uh, a, a preview link, as you can see here, form.jotformpro.com, blah, 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 and you get this nice long number. And this is what it looks like when people actually submit their information, this is the sales page. Let me show you that coupon code works. You type in the word Manny, you press apply, and bam, automatically discount. Coupon is valid. Now, let's say I didn't type in the right one. Let's say I typed in, you know, Manny IE. Apply. Sorry, coupon isn't valid. Please try another one. So it tells them right off the bat, hey, that coupon doesn't work. Um, and then they'll probably get in contact with you and make sure that the coupon is valid, blah, blah, blah. And then it even says on here, I always put on here, if you refer to here, make sure you get your coupon code and also outline the add-ons. Hey guys, these are an optional add-on. You don't have to purchase them, but this is what complements what you're purchasing today. So that, that kind of stuff is, uh, is what you want to focus on. Um, and then I just make sure my contact information is readily available. Hey guys, if you have questions about this sales funnel uh, or this product purchase or this form, uh, give me a call, text me, call me, whatever it is that uh, I need you to do to get in touch with me. And then just have them fill out their information, whatever information you want. It's fully customizable. So you can literally add in all kinds of stuff, a checkbox, a radio button, drop down menu, a text area where they fill out a whole thing, like describe what you need or you know, outline um, whatever it is that you're asking for. Um, you can add in a submit button, file upload. This is cool because instead of me having to grab content from the client, I can literally ask for it right in the system. So for example, hey, upload your picture. You know, because I ask them, hey, put your own picture in for the Facebook sales funnel, and all they have to do is upload their photo. They just go there and they pick it off of their stuff, and then you can upload it right there. And then I can even include example stuff like, hey, you know, if you want a logo animation video, here's an example when I just showed them the POS tips intro, and then also a different one, which is the how-to with Manny. You guys all see this whenever you guys do my intro and stuff. So we can sell those as well. And then I just give them a thing saying, hey, notice that these pricings are only good uh, with this package, because if you don't get it with this package, uh, it's not available at that retail, in fact, at that discounted price. So you just kind of give them a more incentive to take advantage of it now. And then you also have a referred by option, so that way you can you know, track your affiliates on a secondary bonus on top of getting them to um, you know, uh, put in a coupon code or something. Now, some may not remember a coupon code, and they say, oh yeah, you know, someone referred me to here. You know, that way you just just a good way to track stuff. I always like tracking everywhere somebody comes from because it's just, you know, ability for me to say, okay, well, this marketing works, so let's focus more on that stuff. And uh, and then there's all kinds of payment tools. You can use Authorize.net, you can use ClickBank, WorldPay, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can do it. And then integrating widgets like the YouTube, so you can add in your own videos, checklists, take photos. There's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do, and survey tools, star ratings, um, I really like this thing because it just gives me the ability to 
um, to build out these uh, these sales funnels in here and the power lead system is my tool to be able to market to them and grab the leads for it so that's what's really cool we can combine both of these together and get yourself a nice little funnel and then so all you're going to do is just find a domain that you're going to have your lead capture form go to and that is where you're going to send everybody and then once they go to it bam they go to the sales funnel and then as you can see i just have this thing here uh, since I go to it all the time, it just keeps popping up to it to where I'm at. And then, bam, it goes right into whatever you're offering. So highlight whatever images that you have and bring it into this thing, make it in some images. And then, bam, you've got yourself a nice little funnel that you can, uh, you can mess around with. So how are we doing on time here? Wow, 19 minutes. 19 minutes, I told you guys how to build this funnel. Crazy. I'm getting good at this stuff. All right, so uh, let's see if I miss anything. Oh yeah, okay, so this is how you're going to add, add everything in, duh, I didn't even tell you guys how to integrate this. Alright, so once we have this sales funnel kind of built out, so you got the job form made, you've got your uh, PayPal integration so you can collect your payments, because uh, what I did is I just add in my uh, my PayPal, you know, I add in a payment, uh, payment tool, uh, which is the PayPal, and bam, just add it in here, and then it just lets you uh, customize it from there. And then, uh, so yeah, just play around with that. Um, you can make things required. Um, let's see here, you can show the total on and off, hover over text. I mean, just play around with this. It's very easy. I mean, I just jumped right into it. And I mean, well, I guess for me, it's a lot easier. But um, I mean, it's very, very easy, guys. So it shouldn't be too difficult. But uh, let's go back in here. So once you build out the lead capture page, okay? Now, this is where you have to set it up the correct way. So make sure you set it up to the right domain, whatever domain you're setting up in step two. Uh, step three, whatever campaign you have. So I created an email campaign that uh, I just put PLS FB website intro. So it just you know, showcase an intro. So hey guys, this would be right when they submit their information. So this is, even if they didn't buy. So this is just, thank you for grabbing the information. Thank you for having an interest in what we're offering. If you didn't purchase, Here's the link where you can check out the sales funnel again or something like that and just put in that job form link, you know, whatever that form link that you got, um, use that link. And then um, what I do is I go and use this preview link and copy that into the step four, which is the web page is, you know, when, whatever, it's the sales page basically what happens after somebody submits their information. So I put another website and I just copy in that job form um, code. So copy and paste literally. So that way when somebody submits it, and they're going to here. Right here, power lead system sales funnel. So it goes right into telling them what they're getting, um, you know, the outline, uh, they have the option to just click and add and it automatically updates the price. So 344, 394, let's say we type in my coupon code. Oh, that was a different one. Okay, so let's say, uh, let me keep on here. Da, 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 da. I made one called Ross. It's so funny, you get all these dozens of people and you can't even remember one coupon code that you signed up. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Whenever you coupon code you saw it before, it gives you a coupon, whatever. All right. So, um, all right. Uh, oh yeah, because all the new ones added in that PLS. I think. Let me try. I just want to show you this. I want to get it right. I don't like not getting it right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Damn it. All right. Whatever. Okay. So, all right. So then make sure that it has that another website okay and then just test it just submit your information in it and make sure that it goes to the sales page and then uh, if you have to make some type of coupon where you get like 100% off or something and then uh, use that coupon and do a test sale make sure it, it goes through and, uh, and just make sure everything is on the up and up uh, or just give somebody else a test you know uh, if you already used it once and you change it have someone else test it and give you know 100% discounts make sure it goes through um, so just make sure it goes process it correctly if you did it right and, uh, and then you're good to go. So I think um, I did everything I need to from there. 
Um, if you guys have any questions, as you can you know, tell, you guys have many ways to contact me um, through the, uh, the Facebook group. You guys can, you know, great way to contact me is Facebook and then direct message me because it pops up in my phone like a text, me a text message because I've been having issues with people uh, trying to get a hold of me via email. You know, I get hundreds of emails a day and, uh, and sometimes they just mix in. But a text message um, is, uh, is something that's unique that doesn't come through spammy. So it, uh, it should work just fine. So mostly people have been following, following me through there. It's been a lot easier to get, get a hold of me. So uh, other than that, you guys should have um, this whole little guideline here to get you through it. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. But I will be back next week with a new edition of POS Tips. Uh, I was kind of stumped this morning. I couldn't figure out what to talk about. So um, if you guys can give me some ideas, I'm looking for great ideas to talk about for topics because obviously you guys come here to learn. So what do you guys want to learn about? Let me know. Um, hit me up on Facebook, comment me, message me directly, text me, uh, my cell phone number directly, 714-603-1114. So text me if you guys have some topics that you can shoot me. And uh, I need some topics because we're, uh, we're in the March and I am uh, getting kind of not knowing what to talk about. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to come up with new stuff and uh, luckily I was able to come up with something unique today which uh, hopefully can bring you guys lots of value, should be able to bring you guys some value. So um, yeah, let me know. But other than that, uh, I am gonna be out now and let you guys take it over from here. But uh, any questions, you guys got the chat feature below and text message me, find me on Facebook, the group, all that stuff. So I'll talk to you soon and have a great weekend and stay blessed. Talk to you soon, bye. Introducing the Facebook Sales Funnel. Don't just generate likes, but actual paying customers too. We take your business to new heights with our one-of-a-kind HTML5 designs developed by Manny Lopez, the creator of FB Simplicity and PLS Tips with Manny. Completely customizable with a drag-and-drop editor and make Facebook simple with FB Simplicity, our exclusive video coaching series. Everything you need to become a Facebook superstar. Hey, you don't get named one of the best by Facebook without getting results. Get your very own Facebook sales funnel today at GetMyFacebookWebsite.com.